Hi, I'm Joel Fernandez from blog.joelwebsites.com. Today I will show you about the performance uh, section and I will explain how you can make your PrestaShop uh, work a bit faster and uh, so that this will attract more customers. The faster store will attract more and more customers. So I will help you with the basics about uh, about uh, making your PrestaShop uh, more, much more faster. You can see much more related articles in my website that is blog.joelwebsites.com uh, Please like and subscribe this video um, Ok so after this video you learn how to make your Presta shop a bit more faster with these tips Ok so the first tip is uh, Enabling your cache in Presta shop There is an option uh, if you come to the back office in your Presta shop you come to the advanced parameter under para advanced parameter you will see performance you can see cache uh, if you turn this on uh, now there are several dynamic uh, files that are there php uses dynamic files in uh, for its uh, to show content that changes constantly but pressure shop has this cache feature uh, if you enable cache then uh, cache will be uh, these dynamic files will have a static version the static file means uh, where changes are not does not take place so pressure shop will save a di uh, static version of a dynamic file I'll show you where the files are stored if you go into your pressure shop folder in the cache section you will see the uh, files where they are stored it is generally in this smarty uh, in Presta shop cache in your Presta shop root directory cache and smarty inside this are some uh, the cache files generally I'm using Presta shop 1.6 okay so the next section is uh, the in the performance tab you'll see debug mode now debug mode is where you can disable all non all third party models and you can whereas you can uh, also you can uh, disable all overrides what will this will do if suppose if you have installed a third party module you can uh, just uh, many third party modules and you don't know which one uh, uh, you don't know, you are not sure which uh, whether third party modules are causing a problem in your pressure shop uh, functionality sometimes third party modules they uh, don't let pressure shop work properly so you can just uh, enable debug mode by pressing yes and you can then later on save it Okay, so now the next section is combine, compress, and cache. Okay, so now th inside this section there are different kinds of caches. Suppose if you enable on your all this, uh, your uh, Presta shop store will be more optimized and it will run a bit faster. Are you going to charge or what? One more Okay, so now the uh, next section will be I already explained combine, compress, and cache. Now the uh, just ignore this media server part, and uh, because uh, it asks you to uh, include another domain in this or a subdomain, uh, it says that it stores its cookie list static content on that website, but I'm not uh, very sure how it works. Once I tried it, and it caused my site to go down. And uh, next one is ciphering. This is a not so useful one. Uh, it is an algorithm used for security purposes, but it is uh, not so useful. So okay, so we'll just ignore this part. So now the other important part is ca caching. This is another cache part. Uh, this the top one is smarty cache and the below one is uh, ciphering uh, sorry ca caching this is you can install uh, you can install custom cache uh, pl uh, on caching systems on the server you can install memcache or you can install apc this one the other best uh, for an apache network um, so 
if you don't have it installed you can ask the customer support to install it or you can install it uh, by using uh, there are several tricks to install it uh, in linux servers you have to use uh, syntax like so sudo yum uh, okay so you will find similar articles on the internet sudo yum install and so on uh, where you will install memcache on the system once you enable it and then it uh, once you install it properly this thing this uh, notification inside the bracket will disappear then you have to just click on save and then your pressure shop store will be a bit faster um, other tips for PrestaShop uh, to work faster as change your plan you will have to go to a VPS plan uh, if you are using shared hosting um, or not. ok you can go to a VPS server VPS uh, server or virtual private servers you can use them to uh, make your presta shop work uh, much faster because uh, the ram usage will be less in the server uh, in shared hosting what happens is that all the ram and the uh, cpu usage is uh, distributed among several websites but whereas in vps uh, it will only be dedicated for your website generally presta shop works in shared hosting as well but once the files get uh, there are a lot of files and once you install more modules you, you will notice a slight change on the speed in Presta shop ok so other if you are still finding your web Presta shop slow then um, you can uh, change increase the ram use uh, ram in the in the hosting uh, in the hosting and uh, ram or cpu and you will have to contact your hosting provider for all this ok thank you for watching my video and uh, please visit my website blog.joelwebsites.com i will leave a link in the video you can see many more videos there and uh, uh, tutorials there thank you uh, please like and subscribe this video to see and uh, i will upload many more please help and support me by liking and commenting and sharing my videos thank you